Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I'm filming my Sunday morning routine this morning, um, which I'm really excited about. I feel like my Sunday mornings are very relaxed as you guys would have seen. They're very slow, but it really just like sets the tone for the day and gets me nice and prepared and refreshed, ready for the week ahead. I also get up at 6 a.m. on a Sunday. I usually get up at 5 a.m. during the week just because I thrive. Waking up early, like that's when I'm the most productive. So I use that to my advantage. And yeah, it's really good, like understanding when you are the most productive, especially when you're like, you run your own businesses. Um, I really need to make the most out of my productivity state, I guess you could say. Um, like literally every single day between like one and three, I crash. Like there's no stopping that situation. No matter how much caffeine I have, I just like, my brain just doesn't work, I swear. So yeah, I have to get up at 5 a.m. during the week, which is actually great. Like I literally love seizing the day and being up before the sun rises and everything. Um, and Verity and I both do the 5.30 a.m. PLC sessions. And then if we're not doing that, then I'll go to the gym anyway. So yeah. Um, on Sundays though, I do have a little bit of a sleep in. My body clock did wake me up at five anyway, but I did end up sleeping for like that last hour up until six, just, it was like a super light sleep. Like, you know, when you're like not actually awake, but it was still really nice. Just like relaxing in that state, I guess. Um, but yeah, started my morning with a big glass of water and then I did some journaling. Um, my journaling this morning was really good. I feel like I jotted down a lot of stuff. And yeah, it was just like really nice to get it like off my chest onto paper. Journaling is so good just to set the tone for the day and for the week and just let everything you're feeling um, out into the universe. So yeah, that was really nice. But Jake and I are going to go on a walk now. I'm going to take Milos for a walk. We usually, like I have a rest day on a Sunday. Jake usually does train, um, so he'll probably go to the gym after our walk. But yeah, we're going to take him on a walk and uh, start our morning. Um, I'm going to make an ice long black now though because i need some caffeine to get me going for the day but when we get back from our walk i will show you guys what else i do on a sunday to get myself um prepared and ready for the week ahead you ready for a walk okay you are so crazy he literally does this and walks himself <laughs> i don't know if it's because he has short legs so he needs to like Keep <laughs> it from dangling down in front so of him. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. I've just made myself some breakfast. I've just made avocado on toast with Nutalex and salt and pepper. I literally have an unhealthy, actually, I suppose it's a healthy obsession because it is healthy um, with avocado on toast at the moment. I literally had it for dinner the other night. It's just so freaking good. I'm obsessed. I have another lemon water just because I still had the lemons from earlier. So I'm not going to let that go to waste. And then I'm also just going to plan out my week ahead. So while I eat my breakfast, I'm just going to plan out the rest of my week. So that involves checking over my calendar. Um, I have like this big calendar piece of paper like thing, I guess, from Kmart. Yeah, I have that that I'm going to fill out. Um, well, everything's pretty much filled out, but I'm just going to like look at that and then plan out the rest of my week. I'll also write out what I'm going to be eating this week. I'll be writing in my, I don't do like my daily schedule, like really in depth. I do that each morning on my morning walk usually, um, but I will write out my plan of attack for the rest of today in detail. Um, and then also, yeah, just write out like my training schedule, meetings, um, content that's due, like all that sort of like boring stuff, appointments, etc. So I'm going to do that now while I eat my breakfast. 
um and then yeah i'll check with you guys once it's all done i also need to write out like my grocery list for the week i'm going to get groceries after this and like get my nails done and a few things as well so i will show you guys that once it's all done so this is my menu for the week i'm literally just having the same thing that i had pretty much in one of my recent what i in a day videos the only thing that's different is i'm just going to have avocado on toast instead of the smoothie for breakfast so these are the groceries that i need from coles and then aldi and then yeah that's pretty much everything so i'm actually going to duck to the shops now get groceries get my nails done and there was also this really cute um is it called crockery like plates and stuff I don't know, at um, Big W actually. It was super cute. So I might go buy that as well because yeah, I freaking love it. It was so cute. Um, I saw it when Jake and I were at the shops yesterday and I did hold back, but I've been pondering on it for the past 24 hours and I really want it. So I'm going to go get that as well. I'm just at Big W now and this is the set I'm going to get. I feel like it's so cute. There's like little speckles and stuff. I also noticed this, which I thought was really cute as well. They have like these earthy tone sort of ones. Like, look at this, the mug. I'm like refraining myself so hard right now. I just got back from getting the groceries. I only need to get like a top off of things because heaps of the stuff we already have. So I just got some more of this cheese sauce to make my mac and cheese. Um, same with the broccolini and then there's mushrooms in here, spinach, and then the chicken here as well. And then this is the gluten-free pasta that I buy from Aldi. It's amazing. Um, the oats are just for just in case. And then also some oat milk as well. Um, konjac rice to have with strawberries and then chocolate mousses. I already have so many of them. I stocked up the last time they had heaps at Coles because um, they are always sold out. So I literally bought like eight containers worth. So apologies to anyone else that lives in my area that wanted any because I did take them all. Um, sweet potato capsicums for Jake. And then I just got some more of my rye Vienna bread from Aldi, some wholemeal pitas to have um, my little like hot dog things, hot dog veggie pita things that I have for lunch. Um, and then uh, just some bananas to have with like smoothies or snacks or whatever. And then also saw these on Riley's story the other day and I love like the sugar-free, um, like the no-shoe stuff. So they're like little carrot cakes and they look so delicious. I'm so excited to have those stored away in the pantry um and they don't expire for like another 10 days so that's really good as well i ended up getting a bunch of stuff so i'll film a little haul for you guys a little unboxing haul of everything that i got so i ended up getting a bunch of stuff i also got an ice matcha on soy literally my favorite oat milk is really good as well but it's slightly higher in cows i'm pretty sure which is why i get the soy because i think it's still just as delicious but yeah i thought i'd show you guys everything that i have here so first of all you guys would have seen, I got this dining set thing. So cute. I'll grab them out and show you what they look like. And I'm sure you'll see them in like upcoming videos or whatever. Anyway, this is like the bowls, for example. How cute. Freaking love those. I think they're so adorable. I love like the size of this as well. I feel like it'll just be so perfect for like oats or curries or anything like dinner or lunch related to be honest it's like big but not like too big which i really like and then i also stopped in at target i actually ordered these two books the other day and then i ordered them on click and collect because there's nothing worse than going to the shops and walking around for hours trying to find um whatever you are on the hunt for because a lot of places say they all have something in stock and then they don't so i did the click and collect option so much easier um but yeah i've heard really good things about both of these books so i got the atomic habits and then also the resilience project i've heard amazing things about both of these so i'm really excited to have these to read i honestly haven't read in years um i've been so slack on it so yeah i'm really excited <laughs> to read both of these. They have the time to actually read them, but I'll prioritize it. And then also from Big W, I got some new like scissors and also a little spatula. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like scissors just like always go missing in our house. It's just like, where did they go? It's like one of those things that just like vanish. And then I went to Ikea and I got this. I thought this was super cute um, for like flowers and stuff. Like you guys can see, I've got like a little makeshift vase there. I actually do have heaps of vases, but 
I feel like they're like all the wrong shape. I need ones that are like narrow, but then like still wide enough at the top, if that makes sense. So hopefully this is fine. I did also get these as well. They only came in like a three pack. So there's like a skinnier one, a shorter one, and then like a super narrow one. So I'll see how those go. And then I also got Milo some little toys. I think these ones were from Target. Yep, Target. I thought they were like super cute and I like the color of them and Milo always loves new toys. And then I slept in a JB Hi-Fi because Talia and I are doing a market stall this Saturday. I'm not sure if this video will be live yet, um, but if you if it is, um, uh, it'll be on the Gold Coast at Tweed Heads from 8.30 till 12.30 and we'll be selling so much stuff. Like it's actually gonna be mental. I'm just really excited to get rid of everything and start fresh. I literally have so much stuff that's like in my room upstairs. I have like a room upstairs that's fully dedicated to like all my Depop stuff that my PA has been making her way through over the past few weeks. So she'll upload um, stuff like every Monday, but um, yeah, I haven't even like announced it on my Instagram or anything yet. It's only like people that have just like found it here or there or like DM'd me asking if I have a selling place um, because everything sells really quickly anyway. So yeah, that's why I don't like announce it on my socials or anything. But yeah, if you guys would like the link, let me know. Um, but yeah, everything goes like pretty quickly. So, and most of it's like brand new or never worn or only worn like once or whatever. So yeah, we're doing a market stall. So I got one of these, so cheap. They're only like $59 so that I can accept a card, which is so handy. I can't believe they're that cheap. I'm like literally shocked. I ordered these the other week and they finally came. I ordered like these. So I got like the letters, some white ones, and then in here there's like Amethyst, which is my person, and then Topaz, I think maybe, which I think is Jake's. I think that's the one, I'm not sure. And I got some like shells and pearls and stuff because I really wanted to make like a cute little keychain thing <laughs> situation. If I have time, if and when is the question. I also went to Mecca and I got a top up. I'm literally completely out of my other one, like literally like nothing left i love like the packaging of these because you can really get every last little bit out of it which is amazing so i got a top up of the brazilian bum bum cream this moisturizer is amazing it smells amazing as well if you guys have ever smelled it before like you will know and then i also got the perfume i have the perfume in like the mini um, but someone said instead of buying another mini because my mini's just run out to buy the bigger one and then like pour it into the mini like re like stock it up i guess the mini's just like really good to have um like in your handbag and stuff p.s if i'm like talking really fast it's because um the girls and i have a picnic this afternoon at four and i've got like so much to do still before then so i'm sorry if i'm like talking so fast i'm meant to be like relaxed on my sunday but i'm like brushing <laughs> It's because like the sun sets so early now, so we wanted to do it before sunset and like do dinner and stuff. But it means we'll be having dinner at like four or five rather than like six or seven, you know? Um, so yeah, I just got the big one of that and then they just gave me like their little monthly thing, which is, I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what that is. Um, and then lastly, I just got this as PR. Super cute, so it's like the zit stickers, which I've actually never tried before. Like this, it's gonna focus. It's like the little zit stickers, and I've actually never tried these before, so I'm really excited to try them out. Um, this one is a spot clarifying dots hydro, I don't know what that is. I think they must just be like different colors or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try those. I literally like whenever I get a blind pimple, I will like put toothpaste on my pimple which is really bad i know but i just like i can't deal with like the ooziness so disgusting no um so yeah i put like toothpaste on it to like really dry it out which i don't think is the best for your skin i just put my tulips in this vase from ikea and look how cute they look i actually have been looking for white tulips literally like for months and months every single time i go to a shopping center i'm on the lookout for them they usually have like orange ones or pink ones but i really wanted white ones and i actually ended up just ordering these ones online and then got them delivered yeah they're so pretty they're really small at the moment like all of the tulips available but it looks so cute oh can you guys see that plane going over so weird there's literally like no airports near our house but anyway I just made Jake and I lunch. So Jake's has normal turkey breast mints and then mine has, um, you guys would have seen it before, but it has like that soy textured protein, that's it. 
so freaking yummy um these um chili lime tortilla chips are literally my favorite thing ever they are so good that concludes the end of this video guys i hope you all enjoyed watching let me know if you do want to see more of these sorts of videos as well they're probably my favorite video type to film i just love like the aesthetics of them I just love it. Yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already. And give this video a big thumbs up. Because it does really support my channel as well. And yeah, it's pretty much everything. The only other things I would do on a Sunday um, is like wash my hair, shave my legs, apply a fresh tan. I know most people would like tan on a Thursday. But I feel like tanning on a Sunday is a game changer as well. Because then it means like you feel really good the whole week. And then you could scrub it off again if you needed to. But yeah, it just kind of depends, I guess. But I washed my hair on Thursday. So I don't actually need to wash it again now for a few days, actually. I only need to wash my hair once a week, which is really good. Um, so yeah, do that. Shave your legs, moisturize, do all that sort of stuff. Make sure you have clean sheets on your bed. Um, make sure your washing and stuff's done. But yeah, all of that stuff we did yesterday. So I'm ready to go, ready to seize the new week. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you made it the whole way through, I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.